Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Ural of New England. Today we're checking out this new 2023 Ural Gear Up in the Tobago color. A very cool, uh, unique and distinct colorway. I think it looks awesome. So in this video, we're gonna touch more on that. Uh, we're also gonna talk about the uh, nice improvements Ural made on the 2023 models. Uh, we're gonna learn about the specifications and some standout features of this Ural. If you're new to Alpha Cars, uh, welcome to the channel. We share daily motoring content on really cool things like this Ural gear up. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. But now let's take a closer look at this Ural. So let's start out by just covering the question, what is a Ural? Well, it is a two-wheel drive sidecar motorcycle. That's right, it does have on-demand two-wheel drive. There's a level lever for it, which I will show you um, closer a bit later, but we can see it there between the bike and the sidecar. Um, just in front of that lever, there's a heel-toe shifter for reverse. These have a mechanical reverse gear. Uh, so they are a four-speed uh, gearbox with a mechanical reverse. And we can see the heel toe shifter for those four forward gears. And these Urals, they actually have a dry clutch um, like, a, like your car does. It's a twin plate dry clutch um, for a ton of clamping force and all the torque um, that horizontally opposed two cylinder makes. Um, so you get a light clutch pull while having all the extra torque, just like a high performance uh, you know, racing vehicle application where you'd put a twin plate clutch to have a uh, clutch pedal that remains kind of the same feeling, but you get you hold a lot more torque. Uh, that's the same thing here. Really cool engineering behind that. Uh, I did just mention it is a two cylinder uh, horizontally opposed and it is fuel injected. Nice modern fuel injection system. Uh, we've got Brembo brakes all around. This may look like uh, you know, kind of more of an off-road machine. It really does everything and it is great off-road especially, uh, but the brakes are like high performance brakes you could have on a, uh, a street only bike. <laughs> uh, they're floating rotor design. They're all drilled, huge four piston Brembo caliper in the front. And then in the rear of the Ural, uh, we have once again, a drilled rotor floating design, single piston Brembo caliper there. And even on the sidecar, it has its own brake. Uh, drilled rotor, once again, floating design, Brembo caliper. And to actuate those, we have uh, a foot lever right here. So this is for your rear brake, and we can see this cool linkage. Uh, we have a uh, fluid reservoir here, and then the master cylinders under the shield um, for the sidecar brake, but it, it brakes both rear wheels at the same time. Um, for a nice, you know, controlled uh, and, and powerful kind of braking situation. So really all the controls on this Ural are pretty much just like riding a normal motorcycle. I will show you the handlebar um, controls a bit later in this video when we start it up. Uh, but now let me touch on some of its features. So as standard, we've got the driving lights and something we do here at Ural of New England, we actually uh, drill the backside of this uh, front bumper. So from the factory, the harness for these actually is just zip tied along this tube uh, or front bumper. And then it, uh, this is the harness. So usually this is just on the outside. You know, honestly, it doesn't look that great or we feel that way. And it's gonna really get aged and damaged over time from having a wiring harness exposed like that. Uh, so like I said, we uh, drill the back of the bumper, hit it with touch up paint so it doesn't rust and then run the harness through the bumper, comes out of a plastic cap at the end and goes into the sidecar with the fuse boxes. So it gives a very, very clean appearance. And that's just kind of how we are here at Alpha Cars. We just like to go <laughs> above and beyond and really have that attention to detail because we are actually enthusiasts here. Um, we, <laughs> we love what we do. Now looking in the sidecar, awesome paint scheme, very clean paint lines, very high quality paint job. Got a nice quality rubber mat in the sidecar with Ural kind of inscripted on it. And we've got a fuse box here um, with an extra circuit. So you're able to wire this um, to whatever you want. And we have a European style power outlet as well. Uh, and we do have adapters on our online store to the uh, US spec ones. 
And speaking of our online store, we sell hundreds of accessories for these. Uh, this bike is as it comes, uh, kind of the base model bike, so to speak, no, uh, you know, additional accessories on it. Um, so definitely check out our e-store. It'll pop up right now in the video for you to click on. Uh, and, and we have other videos on really building these out uh, like crazy for, you know, Overland, Expedition, uh, dozens and dozens of accessories just on one bike um, we'll, we'll put on and it really transforms the bike. It's, it's really quite amazing. But back to this Tobago gear up. So we see we've got a spare wheel and tire and a nice sturdy rack that's on it. And I will note, uh, Ural has designed the hub, which is the center portion, how it mounts to the bike. Uh, they designed this to go on any three locations. So if you get a flat and it can't be repaired, uh, that wheel can go, whether it's on the sidecar, uh, the drive wheel at the rear of the Ural or the front wheel, it fits all three locations. Ultra cool engineering there that Ural has done. And of course we have the traditional uh, jerry can, has the sticker on it that says not for gasoline and drinking water. So don't use it one week to fill up your oil with gas and then put drinking water <laughs> the next week. Uh, it's not for both at the same time. We think that sticker is kind of funny. I think it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, use, <laughs> use common sense with that. But that's nice whether you do want to bring extra provisions for fuel or water, don't do both. <laughs> Uh, very high quality tuned to one exhaust system. I like to point this out because the welds on this exhaust, the really high quality, honestly really thick uh, mounting bracket with those rubber isolators um, and this heat shield, all stainless steel hardware, even the heat shield for the bend right here. And then let me show you the welds there where it goes two into one and underneath the bike really quite amazing kind of like a work of art i've really got a, a passion for perfection you could say and this is pretty much it in my opinion really awesome to see that come from the factory uh you know on a on a bike like this it's really really cool uh let me open up the trunk for you yes that's right it has a trunk so we just pull this lever here it is lockable as well we see we have a keyhole so you can keep your uh, kind of goodies locked away so i'm going to pull the lever and lift up like so. We have our color code and VIN sticker right there. Even like on the inside of this, all stainless steel, uh, you know, locking locking nuts and the like. Same thing in here. Uh, I actually have the tonneau cover in here as the trunk is for storing things. So this is folded up, but this, this goes over the top of the sidecar and protects it. And you have these nice fasteners um, to secure it. I'll have a video pop up for you right now on how to use that and just, it's a, it's a whole video, um, pretty short video, so easy to watch, but it's a whole video just on the tonneau cover and the different things you can do with that. So now looking in to our trunk, I'm gonna come around the other side for you. We've got factory toolkit, uh, really like a full service kit. You can really do anything on the bike you need to with that. We've got touch-up paint, all three colors there. And our owner's manual, was, which once again, this has like wiring schematics, uh, you know, exploded part views. You can really, it's like a service manual in addition. You can service everything on the Euro with that. It's, it's, it's really cool. I wish manufacturers did that for cars, although you'd probably have a gigantic owner's manual. And we can see this kind of textured finish on the inside of the trunk, inside of the sidecar. And uh, underside of the sidecar, we can see the difference in the finish here. So this is a factory chip guard, almost like a bed liner, you could call it, um, in, in kind of common terms. But this is applied underneath the paint um, at the factory. And what that does is offer protection against, you know, hits uh, to the paint. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's designed to flex is what it's designed to do. Because um, if you just have paint on metal and you hit it with something, it'll chip because the metal doesn't flex. So then the paint chips off. But with this uh, chip guard, uh, it allows some flex, so less likely to have damage. And it kind of rough, rough, uh, rust proofs it as well, sorry, because obviously rust starts once paint is chipped off. And the camera's not doing a good job focusing, but underneath the fenders are coated as well with the same, uh, with the same chip guard, if you can kind of see in there that textured coating. So really anywhere that's gonna be susceptible 
um, to kind of moisture and rust and damage is actually protected uh, from the factory on this bike. Really, really cool. So now I will put the tonneau cover back in there. Lots of room in that trunk. You can do a whole thing of grocery shopping if you need to, um, or you know, pack up for a trip. And like I said, with the accessories, tons of accessories for these bikes, uh, you know, lighting, uh, hand shifters, uh, nose rack, all sorts of different racks for extra cargo. Uh, the hand shifter mounts kind of right here. We have different options there, whether you just want to reverse and two wheel drive uh, or just reverse, or actually we have a, a nifty hand shifter. You can use all the forward gears with it. Really, really cool and fun to use. So now just taking a look letting me catch my breath for one second <laughs> just out the quality i love the black kind of badging it all just comes together so well it looks awesome in my opinion looking at the back once again the tool drive badging is in that black that kind of matches everything even the little ural inscription kind of logo on the back of the bench seat looks awesome as well so now let me kind of show you the controls a little closer uh and uh, we'll start it up as well, and then I'll get into the uh, improvements for 2023 as well. So we have our right side uh, foot controls here. I already showed you the brake, but this is for reverse, this heel toe. So to activate reverse, I am actually have a whole video on just how to use reverse. Um, so check that out. That'll pop up in the video for you. But briefly, you can be in neutral or first gear, believe it or not. Uh, clutch in and you kick down on the back half in your right in reverse, and when you pop it, uh, back out of reverse, it automatically is located in neutral. Very, very cool. Sorry about the camera angle. Let me try to get a good one for you. This lever is for two-wheel drive. We can see this nice uh, rod that is connected to it. Uh, so that you would just uh, engage forward uh, when you're kind of in neutral. It can be, uh, with how the final drive is designed, sometimes you need to kind of roll the bike forward a little bit um, and kind of activate this and it'll it'll drop right into two-wheel drive and what that's activating is this lever here on the final drive unit and i'll actually talk about the 2023 improvements right now because we're looking at one of them uh, cv joint so we can see just like your subaru or, or like honda um, you know car or even all-wheel drive car i mean my volkswagen has it's all cv joints uh, you know sealed boot constant velocity joint uh, so those are uh, smoother, you know, at all rotation angles. So you're gonna have a smoother ride and really increased reliability and service intervals. As long as you monitor the boot condition and that doesn't leak or rip, uh, I mean, for the kind of the life of the year old, they're gonna be almost maintenance free and just work, um, really work excellently. And just taking a look underneath of the exhaust the sidecar, we can see that textured coating I talked about, that nice high quality Brembo caliper and rotor, all very, very cool. And the other changes for 2023 uh, was to the engine, not something you can really see on the outside, but um, some big improvements were made to the design and manufacturing of the uh, engine's crankcase. So that's always good there to have a more refined, uh, you know, heart of the engine. So now I will get onto the kind of cockpit area. Uh, fuel tank storage, really cool thing right here. It has its own little key, which I'll be very careful to not let the other keys touch the paint. And look at that, has a little rubber gasket, not totally watertight, but it'll really help with that. And lots of room. I've got a uh, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, a pretty big phone by today's standards, uh, physically. <laughs> and we can see that fits in there, no problem. I could put my phone, you know, wallet, house keys, uh, whatever else you need to put in there. And it's lockable as well. So make sure no one will steal your goodies. But I think that is a uh, very cool feature of this Ural as I'm trying to put the ignition key back in there. Uh, let me flick on the key. You can see it does its little self check. Uh, we're in neutral. Obviously, this bike is new, so only 11 miles on it. Let me show you the controls. We've got our clutch. We can see very easy to pull in, even just with two fingers, um, like I talked about, that twin plate clutch. Uh, we have the lights, so 
we're always on low beam. That's where the switch is. Uh, flash to pass is down, high beam, you flick it forward. Very heavy duty parking brake here, all aluminum housing. Uh, this clamps the rear caliper on the Ural um, solid, very satisfying to use. You can see heavy duty cable in there. And of course, uh, blinkers and our horn. And then we have a nice waterproof switch here. These are for the driving lights on the sidecar, which I'll leave that on to show you. Uh, electric start, of course, and we have our kill and run switch and then grips and front brake. Checking out those LED driving lights. Awesome, look great. Add a great deal of light to the road and it makes you uh, get seen easier as well. And before I start it, we have a steering dampener here. Uh, 20 points of adjustment, I believe. Uh, makes a huge difference whether uh, you wanna have a lighter steering or a firmer steering and less kickback off-road. Uh, very cool adjustability there. But now with this modern fuel injection system, we're in neutral. All we have to do is hit our starter button. Starts right up, runs awesome. Of course, like any Ural, just needs to warm up for a few seconds or so before you take it out. But whatever, you know, kind of fuel quality you're dealing with, elevation, temperature, uh, they just always start up and run nice. Uh, obviously with being a two cylinder, usually you have two carburetors, you have to balance out the chokes and everything when it's cold. Um, and these, uh, it just does everything for you. So I don't know if you noticed in the video, it's getting very dark out. We have thunderstorms rolling in. I think I heard some thunder and I'm pretty hungry and I wanna eat lunch. So I've, this is all I have for you today on this uh, Ural Gear Up Tobago color. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, just leave a comment below. I'll do my best to respond. Um, or give us a call at 978-263-9000. We're happy to talk uh, Urals with you or just motorcycles in general or cars. As like I said, we are enthusiasts here. We love anything motoring related. Uh, you know, feel free to come on down to any of our locations, check out our showroom, always cool things to see. So this has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough showroom. Please like this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on future exciting things like this Ural.